the Josh and Ashley Show. We are so delighted to be with you, as always, you know. I was thinking about the scripture verse uh, this morning. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, we can't just rejoice when we feel like it. We have to rejoice every day because every day is another day that the Lord hath made. And he woke us up this morning, give us another day that we could live and serve him and worship him. And that's what we've come to do today. Yeah, you know, I heard somebody say, don't rejoice when you feel like it. Yeah. Rejoice until you feel like there it. There you go. That's a good <laughs> yeah. way to put it. I like that as well. We're going to, we have a great show lined yes, up today. We, we have some special guests that's going to be joining us. They're going to be sharing their hearts with us and uh, their testimonies. Mm -hmm. And who knows what we'll get into today. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And you will want to stay right where you are on the Josh and Ashley Show. Stay with us today. Again, it's going to be a phenomenal time. Let's sing a song or two before sure. uh, we invite our guests to come up and share with us today. I love these songs that we're going to kick off with today. It just gives the great gospel message. The foundation of the gospel, the heart of the gospel is Christ and the wonderful cross. So oh, you still got to kneel at the cross if you want to be saved today. And it still takes the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb to wash your sins away. There's nothing that can take its place for the heart that is weary and lost. If you want salvation that is real, you still got to kneel, kneel at the cross. No shortcuts to heaven, you can't bypass Calvary.
Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley Show. We have some very dear friends with us today that we want to introduce to our, our Josh and Ashley Show yeah. friends. And so uh, you're going to enjoy them today. They're going to share from their heart, and, and we're, going to, we're going to talk with them. Before we do that, if they want to find out more about the Josh and Ashley Show, sure. where can they do that? Yeah, so we're on the World Wide Web, www.joshandashleyfranks.com. And that's a really good place to start because it'll link you to anywhere else you need to go that's right. to learn about us. But you can find our itinerary there, uh, find out who's going to be on the Josh and Ashley show yep. next, all about our church. And um, we live stream from our church every Sunday, which is very important this in this season. Yes. So, um, yeah, joshandashleyfranks.com. Spell it all out. Yep. Put the dot, put the com. That's Don't right. spell out the dot, just no. put the dot, all right? <laughs> Joshandashlefranks.com, yeah. check that out. Hey, we have some dear friends of ours, and uh, we've known them for the last several years, and they, they've become really dear yes. friends. And we appreciate their ministry, we appreciate what they stand for, and uh, they're good, God-fearing, Bible-believing people. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need in the land Amen. today. And uh, they just recently opened a wonderful church in the greater Nashville area, right. actually in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And so today we welcome on the Josh and Ashley Show our friends, Dr. Bob Cornell and his wonderful <laughs> wife, Sharon. Thank y'all for coming and being on our show today. Thank you. We're glad I, I'm, you're I'm here. not a doctor, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like one. Well, you had a told it, nobody would have known. Nobody would have ever okay. known. I didn't want to mislead anybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show. We are so thrilled to be here. Yeah. Thank y'all for Great. coming. We love y'all. Thank you. We love y'all too. Thank so you. let's start from the top. Uh, give us a little background of who Bob and Sharon Cornell are and, and uh, talk about your family and uh, your meeting. And uh, we know that's a long story, so we got to shorten that down <laughs> real yeah. quick. But just share, just uh, uh, give our audience uh, who you are today. Well, I want, I want to say, first of all, we appreciate the friendship with you all as well. And we Absolutely. Thank, you guys, thank God for you. Amen. Uh, so much. And the stand that you have for, for the gospel. So we thank God for you. Um, Bob Cornell, originally from upstate New York. Yeah. Uh, God called me to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, uh, 1991, to go to Bible college. Wow. Spent years there. Was a professor at, at uh, Jimmy Swaggart Bible College for over 22 years. Wow. And then, Earlier this, uh, in 2020, the Lord launched us uh, into the Nashville area, uh, Murfreesboro in particular, to, in particular, to start a church, uh, Covenant Church, and we're there, and uh, it's been a, a unique year. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> to like, say the least. For everybody. Uh, but, you know, the Lord is faithful. Yes, He is. He is faithful. Yes, He because is. Because whenever He says something, Whenever he says it, right. it's going to happen. That's right. And so we have stuck to that, and uh, we're just so thankful that the God is faithful. Yes. Isaiah 55, 55 when he says it, yes. his word is like the rain that comes down. Absolutely. It shall, it's going to pr produce grass. Yes, it is. It's going to produce yes, it fruit. Is. And so uh, we, we're just so thankful what God is doing yeah. uh, at Covenant Church in Murfreesboro in the Nashville area. And uh, we're expecting great things from yeah, God. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so you You've been launched right at a year now uh, for yeah. your church uh, going on a year come, I guess, January, right? Yes. And so... Uh, February is when we February. Started. So God's doing some great things there. Uh, tell us what's happening. What, what do you feel? Let's, let's go in this direction for a moment. Where, what, what do you feel uh, is going on in the church today? You know, we're facing some very difficult things. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like we're in a, uh, more of a spiritual battle than anything right now in this mm -hmm. season? Definitely. An attack well, against the church? I, uh, there, there is, there's, an, a, there's a shaking uh, yes. that's taken place. I yes. think God has allowed it. I know it. I know yes. it. God, God, God's allowed it. Yes. Satan is involved in it. Right. I, when, it when this whole thing started I, in prayer, the way I felt it in my spirit is that, that it was a trial. Uh -huh. Now, there's a lot of, I've heard a lot of different things people call it. Sure. But I felt in my spirit it was a trial. And in a trial, in a test, of our faith, right. there's, a, there, there's, there's a shaking that yes. can take place. Yes. And so in that shaking, uh, one or two things can take place for the child of God, uh, even for a person who doesn't know the Lord, but is on, right there on the, close to, on the fence there. Yes. Uh, a person can draw closer to the Lord. It can draw a person close to God, or it can... It can have the opposite effect. It sure can. That the person just says, you know what? 
not only is church not essential, but God is not essential That's right. That's in right. my life. That's and right. so I, I have seen that in this year and that, yeah. that people have either, they've, they've come to that, that, that crossroads. Right. Uh, and it's not so much church being essential, even though we believe it is. Yes. Church is essential. Right. And uh, uh, media church is not the same thing as actual <laughs> church. Man. Church on the couch okay. is not church in the building. <laughs> That's I'm right. telling you. That's right. I, I saw a stat just uh, the other day that said that there are people who still haven't been to church since March uh, in, the, in this 2020 pandemic that we've been in. And in that time, with 12 weeks, people began to watch church online. Mm -hmm. That's where we all were for a short period of time. And then within 12 weeks, that people not only stopped attending church, but within 12 week period, they quit watching online as mm -hmm. well. So that tells me not only did they quit church, they quit God. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, they literally have, they've, they've, their faith has diminished. It's, it's, they, they've, lost their, they've lost their faith. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you're exactly right. When we read through the Word of God over and over and over, everything is a test of faith. Yes. And we've got to keep that faith. And to go back to what you, your initial question, it is a spiritual war. Yeah. It's a war. Yes, it that's is. It's taking place. And so uh, in this war that, that we are in, uh, it, it's, 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 the, it's the end times. Yes, it is. And so uh, it is so, so important that, that God's people that we be people of prayer, yes. that we seek the face of God, that Absolutely. we draw close to Him, and that we, uh, that, that we uh, glean from right. ministers that will encourage our faith. Right. You know, I, I really I strong, feel that strongly in, Absolutely. in my heart. Well, I'm, I'm reminded of what Sharon said uh, when you guys came to our church. I will never forget this, and I've used it uh, several times since then. She didn't give you credit either. Uh, oh, well, I am right now. <laughs> 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 Sharon said the way we got into this thing is the way we stay into this thing. That's right. And that's through the cross. Yeah, absolutely. We got in through uh, the glorious gift mm -hmm. that God sent His only begotten Son. That's We've got to stay near the cross. Absolutely. You know, as my husband just mentioned a moment ago, that shaking that's taking place that God is allowing. Yeah. You know, the enemy's not in control. The enemy's right. not in charge. Right. And it's causing the church to realize that we're not in charge either. Very true. Our God is in control. Very true. Our God is in control. And the tests that he allows, big or small, yeah. is ultimately to draw us back to yes. himself. No doubt to about it. To draw us back to Christ himself. And this, uh, just as what you said that I may have said uh, at your church a few <laughs> months ago, yeah. uh, the same way that we came in is yes. the same way that we stay in. We have to. I think by and large the church has left the old path. Yes. We've left yes. the cross of Christ. We've yes. left what he did at Calvary 2,000 yes. years ago yes. and he's wooing us back to himself. Yes. That's ultimately I believe the, the end goal is to woo the church back to them to himself right. and then call others to get in. Yes. Because this thing is about to wind it is. up. It uh, is. Okay. Christ is getting ready to come back. Didn't mean to come to preach but <laughs> no, Christ it's is good. getting ready. It's, it's great. Not the time to get we need. It now. That's yeah. right. That's right. He's getting ready to come. And that shaking that takes yeah. place is for such a time as this. I'm yes, reminded of Paul and Silas where the, they were in prison and the, the foundations of the prison began to shake. Yes. The very foundation, the very roots began to shake. Yes. And all the doors were open. Absolutely. All the doors flung open and people were saved as a result of that. I yes. believe we're going to see it with I all my heart, with yes. all my mind, with all my soul. I believe we're going to see revival I believe one it. more time. Yes. Sweet yes this nation. Yes. Persecution Thank in the you. early church served to further the gospel of Christ. Yes. We're going to see that, but God is still on the throne. Absolutely. Amen. If you're just tuning in to the Josh Nasher Show, we have our friends Bob and Sharon Cornell with us today, and I always love to be around them. And one reason is because I always feel like I'm going to Bible school right. when I get around <laughs> Bob Cornell because yeah. he always teaches learn and preaches. You time. learn something every yeah. time. <laughs> and of course, you spent how many years uh, as a professor in the Bible college? Almost 23. 23 years. And, uh, of course, you, you learned under the one, of gr one of the great generals of faith yeah. uh, in our generation, in our time, yeah. uh, Jimmy Swaggart and the Swaggart family. So if you don't know the Bible by now, you're never going to yeah. know the Bible, <laughs> Brother Bob. I just want you to know. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, day in and day yeah. out, you yes. studied the Word of God. But I've learned this throughout all the years. You can know the Bible 
but it's more important to know yes. the author. That's right. To mm -hmm. Know God. That's exactly yeah. right. What do you feel, Sharon, that God is saying to the church right now? What do you think that, that God's trying to birth into the church? Because I thought about this the other day. I thought maybe our church, because we, we've been preaching, you know, the modern day church today, it's got so much sin and it's, it's, there's a lot of wickedness in the church that ought to not be. Mm -hmm. Then I thought maybe the church is not as wicked and sinful as we thought it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not as big as we thought it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe that God is cleaning the house a little right. bit. Because the Bible says that judgment must come first in the house of God. What do you think God's speaking to the church right, right now? And I know this may sound a little bit harsh, but I really believe that he's saying repent. Yes. Repent. Yes. And return to your yes. first love. Yes. The re return to your first love, the one who brought you in, the one whose simple childlike faith in him, faith and grace, as your song sang about. Yes. That faith and grace that brought you in is the same faith and grace that keeps you in. And it's to Jesus. Yes. It's to him. Absolutely. It's not to all uh, the big lights and the, the um, grand cathedrals. It's to an old fashioned Absolutely. altar somewhere. And yes. the altar is in your heart. If yes. you're in your home watching, today and listening today. Yes. It's in your heart. It's Absolutely. in your home. It's, mm -hmm. it's in your vehicle. It's in a hotel room. It's wherever, uh, wherever you are, Christ is right there yes, with he you. Is. He's yes, right he is. there with you. Uh, and he's asking you to return yes. Come back to your first yes. love. Absolutely. And I know that seems like a harsh word because it's to the church. Yes. Uh, yeah. But it's yeah. to the church. But I'm first in line. Amen. I'm first in line. Amen. Start with me, Lord. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Brother Bob, give us 60 seconds and speak to the people that are watching today. Day. Give them a word of encouragement. What would you say to the church right now to encourage them to stay near the cross, yes. to hold their faith? Speak to them and Amen. tell them today. Praise the Lord. I just want to say, first of all, that God does love you. He yes. cares for you. And in this season that we've been in the last 12 months, calendar year, there's been a, there has been a shaking and there has been so much turmoil. But God has not changed. Jesus has not changed. And he still cares for you. And his road to salvation is still the same. Absolutely. It's what he did for you at Calvary. Yes. He died for you. And he rose from the dead. And that will never change. And so God loves you today. And I just encourage you, keep looking to Jesus. Yes. Keep trusting yes. in him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Brother Bob. Sister Sharon, thank you for coming and being with us today. Now, if the folks in the greater Nashville want to learn more about you, what's your website that they can go and find out? Facebook, of course, I know is, right. is very popular. What's your website? CornellMinistries.com. They can find out everything right. they need to know about what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Covenant Church. Covenant Church. And uh, again, Cornell Ministries on Facebook is where we live, we yeah. air live all of us. So you family. have your live services yes. that you broadcast live there. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, several times throughout the week, you'll give words of encouragement, yes. scripture, yes. Bible studies. Yeah. And so that's wonderful. We're yes. so happy for you guys. Thank Praying you many us. blessings in your church. And uh, we're just looking forward to greater things to come. Yes. All right. Amen. Amen. Bob and Sharon Cornell here with us on the Josh Nasser Show. We'll be right back. We hope you've enjoyed our friends Bob and Sharon Cornell today and their wonderful ministry and sharing with us. Make sure you visit them online at CornellMinistries.com. CornellMinistries.com. Check them out on Facebook, their social media sites, and uh, you'll be blessed. I promise you. And if you're in the greater Nashville area, go by and see them there at their church, Covenant Church, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm so thankful today for the people of God who still have the hope, still have the confidence, right. still have the trust that God is in control, that everything is right where it needs to be in the palm of His hand, and I'm grateful for that. You may be sitting there today listening to what we have shared, and I pray and I hope that you've sensed the presence of God, that you understand that we are here to help you. We are the family of God, and we want God to do great things in your life. We want you to live a victorious life. We want the blessings of God over you. We want God to do something great for you. That's what this song right here says. There's hope. There's hope for our world. There's hope for the church. There's hope for your marriage. There's hope for you and your life. There's hope for your children and your grandchildren. Don't lose hope. Don't give up now. Hold on to the promises of God. He is faithful. He is true. They are yea and amen. For the hurting child who has no mom or dad 
to hold them tight. Yes. For the one with cancer who's been told they're losing the fight.